Hey guys, so this is a uh, like an early preview of the game Lotus Lantern. So I was gifted this game uh, like for a uh, like a release access build um, by just some random follower who who commented on my profile and uh, I liked the look of the game uh, and I decided you know what I'll uh, I'll ask for a key and uh, very graciously uh, six six three the publisher. Uh, and Unstable Games, they they gave me a, a key to this, so uh, this is just going to be my honest impressions. I haven't played any of this yet, uh, so this is just going to be my first sort of opinions and uh, first playthrough. So I don't know how much of the game has been completed yet, um, but from what I can tell so far, is it it's kind of a bit like um, a bit. It has a bit of a. Uh, it plays a bit like Hades, um, but I don't know if it's anything to do with roguelike or roguelite or anything like that but i'm just going to go into this with a, an open mind and uh, and see how it is so let's get into it so there was one i just created to see if the game was working or not didn't really have anything to go off so i just create a new slot here i forget my controllers plugged in so here we go Shifu, so it, is, so it is a Chinese game as well, uh, so there is uh, subtitles in English. Um, so yeah, here it is. So this is like what I mean when it plays like Hades. Uh, so there's the dash. I haven't tried the other abilities yet. I don't know what that did. Key prompts? No. Nope. I'm sure it'll explain it to me. So here this one. So this is the the skill tree, so you've got damage, increases the visible flaws and selecting a stage. Okay. So how do I get to the... Ah, here we go. So I do like the graphics. The graphics so far are quite impressive for a, a game like this. I don't really know. Am I supposed to be? No. Hmm. See, it doesn't really tell you. Oh, X is to attack. Okay, but I can't seem to attack in this area. Okay. Is there anything you can do out here? Oh, oh, oh okay, well. <laughs> I'm so stupid. So let's look at it. Um, so here we go. So it seems there's only two available to me right now. It's either this mystical sword, generate two fine swords, or this one, character surrounded by several spirit orbs, in which orbs touch enemies. So I think I'll go with this one. That sounds a lot more interesting. So. The right upgrade, I can see that getting very, very powerful. So that's so I'm presuming that was like the, the lobby stage, and this is like where all the enemies are. Oh God. <laughs> so it even does like the little slow down and like motion effect that Hades does. Like when you're there. And if, I, if I'm not mistaken, that's the same orb. Like, like so it gets heavy, heavy influence from games like Hades. Uh, upon entering battle, the red girl shoots farther as it moves and leads across the range. Okay, we've got, we've got to go with the rare one, surely. <laughs> uh, what slots on that? Upgrade the slot to make your artifact to your primary, greatly boosting its power. So, yeah, I guess we'll do that. So, you can't go in the or anything. Let's get. 
Oh, so you get to, this is like the which path you choose. Okay. Uh, a blessing from New. I don't know what that is, but we'll go with it. Again, just want to preface this. The game doesn't actually give you anything so far. There's no tutorial. I presume this is like a, an alpha, uh, alpha stage of the game. Unfortunately, my my LB button on my controller doesn't actually work, so I'm I'm going to be limited to just my RB and basic attack. I'm afraid. So this blessing, what does this do? Aquatic festivity increases the limit of concurrent existing forces. Oh yeah, um, stealth or something. Yeah, I'll go with that one. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this is where you can buy your... Parent. I'm guessing this is permanent upgrades. So pick up movement speed. Yeah, we'll go with movement speed. Everyone loves a bit of movement speed. So we'll go here. Again. It also reminds me a bit of, like, gun Alpha or beta or whatever this is, this plays really well. And you know, I'm not getting much, you know, there's a tiny bit of stutter when attacking, but that might just be due to me having the cord on in the back. See what if I played that, that does. That didn't seem to do an awful lot. That is Okay. I must be real. My uh, my attention span has like like I have like the attention span of an ox. Like I'll just run off and find something new. Uh, so story in a game like this is like not my biggest like gripe or anything like that so but like when it comes to gameplay that's that's what I focus on really so oh, okay. Here we go. So, okay. Diablo as well, a tiny, tiny bit, in terms of, it's very satisfying to just slash away for enemies, so automatic, oh, automatic, period, plus, character shield, oh, okay, that's very end. go with this again, read that, and I presume this will be releasing for be below £20, um, I've looked at some of the other games on, on the store, and they go for about six pound, um, six to eight pound. And I think they had about f uh, three, three different games. I think. I think one was still yet to be released, and two of them were released, if I'm not mistaken. So let's have a look here. Have I got enough? Oh, I have. Damn. I am racking up crystals. Yeah, we'll go with damage. Yeah, let's just go for all. Of them. <laughs> Why not? Somehow. Yeah. Let's go with the 
below HP damage. So I'm definitely going to die in a minute. Moving to be in After this is HP recovery, so I've just gotta to, gotta to last a bit longer. Warrior dude who's just going around wrecking some wolves like sword ones. Celestial sword ones. Skill master. Skill master? It cause a life stealing effect. Oh, yes. Yes, we'll go with that, even though it's an ability that I cannot use because my controller's broken. But we'll gloss over that. So, what is this? Is this anything? No, that's just. Like you can tell, it's it's in a um, an early access state just by the uh, the way. Like for example, like the jank there's a quite a bit of a janky edge on this like blue square on the bottom of the screen. Also up here as well, like there's some text that overlaps like the numbers. So I think they need to to work that out as well. Like uh, for example, with the five there as well, there's like a like a, a, an odd space. Um, so it's it's very clear the game is in a very early form as I've, I've said um, which is fine you know um, they've put coming soon on this so I presume that's going to be you know within the next year I don't know if they're going to release it as like an early access like I hope they do um, because this is this is this is really good so far I do I do like these kind, uh, kinds of games and I would say my biggest gripe with the game so far right now is like the story the gameplay seems like very well polished, very nice. Um, it's just the storyline. Um, not really following it so far, but I'm sure they're they're probably like still working on that. That ability. So you click by blessing, okay. So there's like this is like their version of like the uh, the afterlife shot from Hades. Okay, it's, it's even like laid out in the same way as well. It's like uh, what's his name in, in Hades? K Kron, Kron, something like that. So like that. Have different, these are your different skills, so I'm gonna try that one. Let's try that. Okay. Just like a beat. 
So again, this runs very well uh, currently. I have a set it to 144 hertz mode, um, and I have a 144 1440p monitor. So for me, it's running very well. So whoever's in charge of the the quality control for the game, the gameplay, and how well it runs, hats off to you. It's going very well. How come you're not saying this? Because I. Again, with some of the dialogue, I don't really understand it. I think it needs a bit of work. Like the storyline, it's I don't know. I, I, it's not that it's predictable because if I, anything, I have literally no idea what the, the plot is. So, so if it's going for the, the mysterious sort of vibe, then, then hats off to them as well. But uh, I don't really understand it so well. I'm. Maybe, I mean, the English is good, and it's pretty well written, but, um, but it's just not interesting so far, so this is like the boss. Where are you? Where are you? This guy is so scary. You're not going to say I'm scary. Like, yeah, I mean, that could have been a, a bit more interesting. Target lock as well because I don't know. Control is pretty well fleshed out. This is the end of him. Oh, there we go. So I guess that's all they've got really for now. But from what I've seen of it so far, that's pretty good. So I'm going to leave a, a, a short survey on that because uh, I definitely believe there are some things that they could probably improve on. Uh, such as some of the text, uh, some of the text is a bit off, uh, story is uh, uh, a tad um, like outpaced, like uh, it, it goes from, it's, it's very boring so far, I, uh, I think they need to work on that a bit, but again, a game like this, it's not all about the story, it's about the gameplay. Um, and there's a few other things as well, the music and everything, like the visual uh, effects, brilliant, 
can't fault it. It plays very, very similar to Hades uh, in in the sense that it's very fun and it's a lot of uh, you know uh, numbers and, and and tingling on your brain. You know, it hits that that that, that dopamine spot where uh, where Hades hits and uh, Risk of Rain hits when you you feel powerful and uh, yeah. And it plays very much like an, a normal uh, roguelike game. Um, so I presume that, you know, uh, after that boss, there's about three other bosses like there is in, in Gunfire Reborn. Um, if you've uh, played Gunfire Reborn as well, you know that um, like there's uh, a lot of progression in that. Lots of characters so unlocked. So maybe this isn't going to be the, the only character. I, I can't even remember the main <laughs> character's name, but it does seem um, that this game is going to be one to look out for. Uh, so from what I've played so far, I'm, I'm quite impressed, and I do look forward to see to seeing where they put this game in the future. But uh, yeah, so that is it for the uh, the trial. Uh, thank you guys uh, for watching this video, and thank you to the uh, the developers uh, for giving me a key to the the game. Uh, always love it when uh, developers are willing to uh, put their put their hard earned games on the line for me to review. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day.